unmodded viewership today. So this mod is called the Shielded Zoltan Cruisers. Um, let's look at how many ships are in the mod. So we got an A, B, and C. Ooh, I like those colors. I like the colorations on these ships. You got the Agent, Packed Ice, and the Slicer. Ooh, I like the idea of the Slicer. All right, these all look really strong. This ship starts without shields. This ship needs the extra 100 scrap to get shields. Since we just played a ship that's... Oh, wow. Ion. Ionized beam. Oh, man. We have to play the slicer. This is too cool looking. Um, your mods don't use much heart, uh, hyperspace stuff. It's something you plan to do slowly when you make new ships. Do you want to immediately book a place on shields? Sure. Uh, okay. In your mod, in this mod, shields are cheaper to install and or and or upgrade. Ah, it's half price instead of a hundred. It's fifty. Wow. Okay. So two Zoltans and a slug. Four weapon power. The slicer. Let's read the description of the slicer. The captain of this ship took the phrase "slice and dice" too seriously. So we commissioned this weapon set up at the cost of not having functioning shields. <laughs> All right, good description. So we have an ionized mini beam. Two of these guys, which I think with a hyperspace fix don't take down an infinite number of shields like they used to. One power, one ion damage, and then a normal mini beam it looks like. So only beams. But since two of them are ion beams, should actually be able to kill ships. Let's check it out. Gibbs for the rebellion. Beautiful. Mr. Porku's Gibbs always looks super clean. Very nice. Okay. What's up, Broken Arrow? Uh, nine layers of Zoltan shield and 50% iron resistance, hidden augments. Oh my gosh. Is it Monday after Easter holiday in the U.S.? No. <laughs> the Friday before it kind of is, because it's like Good Friday, but it's more, more of a church thing than an actual um, holiday. Only Easter day is considered a holiday in the U.S., US at least where I am. Um, you can't listen in because of work, but you're here to silently enjoy and boost a fantastic streamer. Oh. You can't hear me, but thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna fight only Zoltan Shield chips today, apparently. <sighs> okay, at least we have Zoltan Shields. What'd you say? It's nine? Okay. Alright, at least we have Zoltan Shields to, you know, out Zoltan Shield to Zoltan here. See how well it does against Zoltan Shields. Oh, okay. It might not one-shot regular shields, but it looks like the ion beams do work against Zoltan shields, though. The ionized mini beams do hull damage, so it is OP-ish. I would say it's more than ish. Wow, just hull, yeah, whole system. These are really strong. These are just better mini beams. They're same speed. Same beam length, same hole, and says, I guess it doesn't have fire. Oh, it even has fire chance? So you basically just took a mini beam and added stats to it. So yeah, it's crazy. You're guessing these ion beams will stack with themselves and cannot miss? Yeah, it's a pretty low, low OP ship. What's up, Britnoth? It's definitely OP. But like I usually say, like I always say with um, creating modded ships, Air on the side of OP unless you're trying to make your ship not fun to play. Which you certainly can do. But I like I like fun ships personally. I don't know about you all, but I like fun ships. Uh the captain took the term slice and dice too seriously. At eleven seconds you deal four iron damage to shields and cannot miss. At twenty-two seconds you drop four shields. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna really see the power of this thing once we uh, start getting the higher shield chips, I think. 
I'm pretty sure this weapon system is all I need for the boss. <laughs> Uh, maybe upgrade mini beams as a whole, uh, halberd beams later or something. Yeah, I could probably rush flagship. Maybe get shields, so once our zone shield's down, we have some shields, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we could rush flagship. God, if I wanted to do a challenge, we could, like, use only ion mini beams. I wonder if they could keep shields down on the flagship during phase one when they have cloaking. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if it, if, if it would stack for that or not. It's gonna be a revenge run for all these Elden ships on vanilla that went down in flames. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we did have, what was it, four Zoltan shield ships in Sector 1 last run, which is pretty insane. Just hack their cloak. Yeah, hack their cloak. That would be a way to do it. I like the look of the the ion mini beams. That kind of white beam color is cool looking, and the purple looks really cool. There are two more upgraded vanilla beams, and the artillery is an, another beam on the style of the ionized mini beam. Oh yeah, that's right. We can buy we can buy artillery. Uh, we can buy artillery in this mod. That's right. Would I want a store? I do have a small bomb to sell, so potentially. In Germany, both Friday and Monday are holidays. Uh, I guess the US is not as big on days where most people don't have to work. Well, I don't... I also haven't gone to school in like 20 years, so I don't know if for schools and churches... I mean, I'm a streamer, so if you ask me if it's a work holiday, what the hell do I know? <laughs> What do I know about holidays anymore? I play I play games on the internet all day for my job, so I who knows? Who knows if people get Friday and Mondays off for work? Somebody in the US in chat can tell me if you got the days off. I don't remember getting that when I worked at like I worked in retail too, and retail is crappy about holidays, you know. Uh, holidays are usually when retail causes you to work extra, so I don't know about like office jobs and stuff like that. So I'm not the best I'm not the best source for that. You would count the many free floating items in sector two to be the positive side of it. That's true, we did get that. You got two ion mini beams is enough for the ship. Yeah, that's probably enough to get to the boss and kill it. Probably. In Texas, most government and many businesses were closed for Good Friday. Most things are normal today. Okay. So that thing I said about Good Friday sounds like maybe that would be the only actual extra holiday day. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, uh, pretty useful map. A little late, but get one power. This. You would know if all grocery stores and takeout places are closed. Yes, this I would know. Although I will say, again, there are not a lot of days in the U.S. where those things are closed. Like, the only days I can think of where that happens is Christmas Day. I'm pretty sure Christmas Day, and even then, a lot of restaurants are open on Christmas Day because people will go out for Christmas Day. Yeah, we don't, businesses don't really close in the U.S. very often. I'm trying to think. Christmas Day is the only day I can think of where I go, hmm, I can't go to Sonic this morning for breakfast because they're closed. Pretty sure Christmas Day is the only, is the only day for that. Which I guess is different from a lot of folks in Europe, huh? Are there a lot of days where your restaurants are closed over there? Uh, this is gonna be a one shot. This might be a one shot. Oh, that's easily a one shot. That's what? Three damage done. That's 12 damage. That is double your health in one single volley.
Uh, there are quite a few days where stuff is closed. Where, where you are? Okay. So get my second shield. I mean, sure, our offense is, like, done, so... We'll have that option if needed. I don't know if we're gonna... Well, how did we take five damage? Did we take damage from an event? Yes, I think the only damage we might take on this ship is from events. <laughs> so far, we've taken nine. Crazy. Or at least closing early on the holidays for you? Okay. Ah, uh, sure, we're not using missiles on this ship. An upgrade is still needed for weapons. Ignore to ta tarp. Civilian, yes, please. Okay. Well, if you're like Britnoth and play tons and tons of hard but no pause, uh, he could probably win with this ship with little else but the uh, ion minibeam that it starts with. I want this store. Oh yes, we haven't been to a store yet, so... Restaurants are kind of the exception, and gas stations, but most other stuff is closed on the holidays. Okay. I'll sell three. I don't want to sell all of my drone parts yet. You with fully upgraded artillery, weapon upgrade is suggested. Well, I mean, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna try to... I'm not doing a challenge run or anything where I try to win with as little as possible, so... I will take three crew though. And put this guy on shields. Any training? No training on him, okay. After uh, losing your streak, you've been on BB uh, Battle Brothers. I've been seeing, uh, I think, Lethal Frag play that lately. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever gonna try to get into that or not. Uh, I can't afford any of that stuff. Don't want to buy crew. Although, an early NG, I always do say NGs immediately pay for themselves. Since we don't need anything, I'm gonna buy an NG just for, you know, silly device run as blessed and blue options are too good. This is a luxury of us playing an OP ship to get an early NG right here, for sure. Battle Brothers is a great game. You've liked that genre? Yeah, I tried it. I tried it once and immediately died in the uh, tutorial. And was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think the art style is what does it for me. Those little dumpy units walking around on the screen, I'm just like, ugh. I mean, I play FTL, so I don't need amazing graphics, but I think the art style in Brattle Brothers is what turns me off. You love the Brotato look? Oh, God. Uh, I don't know, man. Brotato might not be for me. You've been playing lately Backpack Hero. It's an inventory swapping roguelite. Pretty addicting for you at least, and the demo is free right now. Well, I'll be honest, I have so many games that I'm... Well, so many games. I'm addicted to Elden Ring, so I'm probably not gonna be playing anything else for a while. <laughs> Elden Ring is my current addiction. And that game is very addictive. And after I finish my action on a good playthrough, I'm probably going to play some Tex Factory, so I don't know. It's very subtle how they flinch when you attack them. <laughs> yeah, um, what am I looking for here? Just to, like, augments and systems is really all I need for this ship. And maybe we'll go for an artillery, since we can get it on this ship, right? We're immune to damage on this guy. I don't even need to shoot shields to get shields down, do I? Okay, one and two. Yeah, they just go down from 
might have to aim the mini beams a little differently because I don't since I don't instantly shrek the shields. Yeah. Okay, happy crew day, everybody. We're just getting all the crew. Level two pilot. Um, I would not prefer to get that before I have any systems. No, unless I'm going in the nebula without clone bay, which we are actually about to do that. But with this much extra crew, I'm just going to manually search if we get that event. Oh, yay for free borders, man. Yay for free borders. They must have built a shield pipe, huh? Otherwise, how are they banana? Yep, they must. They must. But you know what? We're so overpowered, I'm not allowed to complain about anything on this run. <laughs> we have a level 9 Zoltan shield and ion beams. I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to com complain about anything on this run. This is... I've been playing a lot of RPG Nerdo ships, but I think this might be the most overpowered ship we've played in a while. Uh, let's look for long-range scanners. Whew, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Um, uh, okay. They must have Zoltan Shield Pipe. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay, let's go like this. You and you there. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. It's fine. For comparison, the flagship has either 10 or 12 Zoltan Shield layers. Okay. So we have... Uh, 70 to 80% of Zoltan... Sh Zoltan flagship uh, powers the Zoltan shields. Yeah, it's pretty OP. Honestly, just the ion beam, ion mini beams alone are like brokenly powered. If any ship started with a single one of these ion mini beams, even with the like the nerfed version of them, that ship would be like one of the strongest ships in the game, probably. Maybe the strongest ship in the game. Okay. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Prepare to fight. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, this guy's not doing anything. Go hang out in the engines. Fun fact about the weapons of this pack all of them are buyable. Ha, <laughs> I could get. So you're saying. You're saying I could get four ion mini beams and kill the boss with it. We might just have that might be the challenge on this run is four four ion mini beam beam boss fight. Attack the ship. Can't do damage to us. Why do I keep hitting one and three? Hit one and two. Indeed, I can if I wish. I might wish. There's. Oh man, you even gave the ship free eye on uh, resistance too. God, this ship is so broken. Oh wow. We even have eye on. Uh, what is it? What is the eye on kettle thing called? Uh, reverse ion field or whatever. Beep, 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 beep. All right, well, didn't have to buy that NG after all. It's fine, it's fine. Is it more broken than a Bills of Cruiser? Yes. 
This little cruiser is... You gotta spend 100 scrap on shields. This guy... She has... Um... Kills everything. <laughs> this thing just kills everything. And has nine Zelda shields. Gonna be the guy on shields. Uh, okay, yes. You told me that and I forgot. So who is that? T Lek. T Leaf. Your name is not T Leaf. You are an RPG nerdos. That is what you are. This guy was 50 and upgrades are cheaper. What? I mean, we're diving and taking zero damage and it's not even close, so... <laughs> That's showing you how broken this ship starts. We're diving and that felt like a normal ship fight. That is, that is how overpowered the ship is. Well, don't want a choice of nebula sucker, uh, suckers, sectors. I'm almost full on crew, so I don't really need extra crew chances at pirates to go rebel. I, I will say, I own mini beam is super OP, but I really like the coloration on your ship. This green plus blue looks really cool. The uh, visuals, just just that coloration for whatever reason, very pleasing to my eye. fire come from? The fire beam actually get through? Oh, I guess it did, because uh, I only had one shield. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm getting complacent talking about how OP this ship is and not realizing, oh, some people can actually do damage to us if I don't move my power around correctly. I'm kind of trying to save scrap right now for... If I can get early systems, that would be really... Our, our run would be done. Yeah, the fire beam drone, I think. Actually did damage to us. A combat 2 drone. Okay, alright. God, music is so good in this game. It's so good. Hey, we got a map. Okay, where's my store? My store's over there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine, ten. We have a really good route through this sector. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. You know, you want to like Trigon, but the music isn't this. It's true. It's like why you're in a rock concert in sp It's like, why am I in a rock concert in space? <laughs> yeah, why am I? Uh, I mean, this one would be, why am I an electronic music concert in space? But yes, I, I agree. I just, FTL was kind of a once in a generation kind of thing with all the amazing music and the amazing gameplay, the amazing, just everything. The game is kind of in a league of its own. Even though I rage about it, just the quality of it cannot be denied. Yeah, this is gonna go one, two, three, four, five. I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but I can't get ten, so continue with what we're going. 
Yeah. Yeah, Ben Prunty, man. Ben Prunty's music. Please. Okay, stun bomb. Nice. More stuff. To, more stuff to sell. Even, even um. Uh, the next game they made, uh, Into the Breach. It's good music, but I don't know why FTL's music is just so good. I don't know, man. Oh, <laughs> get, get sliced and diced. Shake and bake, slice and dice. Shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. Slice and dice doing work, man. There. Right, I would like a store for systems. That's what I'm looking for. Like a backup battery would be nice. I mean, extra mini ion mini beams if I just could get those going, that'd be great. Now, right, one more jump, then we check our store. We have two things to sell as well, I believe. Okay. Wow, this guy is actually really strong. But hopefully our nine Zoltan shields will be enough. Ah, uh, damn it. I, some, I, for some reason, I keep pressing the wrong... What, what's, what's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Why am I doing one and three instead of one and two? I don't understand why I keep doing that. Yeah, we took damage. I suck at this game. I actually took damage on this OP ship that I've been bragging about. I'm also hoarding scrap like a dirty hoarder. The only, thing rough, the only rough part of the today's of the today's ship so far was the beginning for Abyssal Cruiser, where FTL just would not let go of hitting my weapons. Yeah, that, that and they were all Zoltan Shield ships. So, all right, we we got systems here. We got systems. I don't need this guy. Is this a modded game? <laughs> yes, yes. We are uh, on Mondays. We play. FTL ships created by viewers, and this is from a mod pack created by Mr. Porkview here in chat. Hole beam plus is a one power hole beam. 15 second charge time. So that would definitely be an upgrade to a mini beam. Let me get this and this. And I am going to do this. How much to upgrade? Oh, wait, it's one power? That's one power. God, these are some broken weapons you put. <laughs> we'll keep a slice and dice theme going here. But there we go. That is... Continue the brokenness. Um, let me get power. There. Okay. And we got backup battery too. Nice. An ion beam? That looks sweet. Yeah, it's really sweet and it's also really overpowered. It's not as overpowered as ion beams used to be before hyperspace made them less overpowered, but they're still overpowered. I like I like the coloration and the look of them, especially. They look really cool. Uh, we'll go that and that. Uh, no surrender, you're dead. Oh, he's not dead. It's frosty. Yeah, stay, stay frosty, my friends. Stay frosty. Okay. Um. It's called ionized mini beam. Is what it's called. Okay.
Uh, Forge Sultan Shield ships was BS. This ship would have easily wiped the floor with those pirates. So yeah, yeah, the ion beam, ionized mini beam, one shotting Sultan shields for sure. Wow, are we full on crew? All right, sector two, full crew. Oh, sector three. Okay. Still, that's pretty insane. I really shouldn't have bought that NG. Apparently this is the run of free crew. Last uh, ship was the run of all Zoltan Shield enemies and free stuff. This is the one of, well, apparently free stuff and free crew. Goodness gracious. Well, if I play Harmonopaz Wednesday, uh, I'm using up all my RNG again. Yay. the O2 level 2, because we're in a slug nebulae, slug nibbler. This is like Rand's anatomy class in space. And here, students, we dissect the shield layer before flaying the hull. <laughs> flaying the hull. That's what we do around here. We do not have full crew. We still have a human to get rid of. Oh, sorry. Yes, my bad. Why would I ever consider a human as a real part of my crew? You dirty human, you dirty rat. <clears throat> you peel back your shield layer, expose the drones that I can steal from inside of your ship. With the early long range scanners, this is a ship we could potentially get the full upgrade on. Completely fully upgraded ship is a potential, I would say, with the early long range scanners and how OP the ship starts. Okay. I might even consider an early scrap recovery arm to go for that. Oh my gosh, what do we got here? A one power, two shot. Ion dual laser. You really like just like add ions to weapons. <laughs> um, I, I'm gonna keep my beams, man. We're slicing and dicing. Question is, if I want a cloak or I want a hack. Uh, I mean, I should go. I could probably be fine going cloaking, but I'm gonna go hacking for safety on making sure we can get through in case we run into like a three shield ship. I don't know how well double ion mini beams will do against three shield ships. Assuming it'll still do pretty well, but let's not chance running low on offense. Yeah, hacking four to wins. It's hacking is always the right choice, right? Pie Boy's strategy of winning at FTL. Get a free flak and buy hacking. And I'll actually hit empty rooms for once with my whole beam. Yeah, hacking is the answer to everything. True, true. You were thinking of giving the ships in this pack up to five shield layers, but after one game you decided against it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they don't need any more OP-ness. They have already maximized the OP-ness with what you've given them. No ion flak. Not in this mod. There's probably one in another mod. I'm sure there's one somewhere. I'm trying to think if we've seen an ion flak ever. I think even Multiverse has one, right? I think so. Does this some PK have an eye on Flak? I think it does. Have I raised yet, or are you early? <laughs> well, um... I'm playing one of the most brokenly strong uh, viewerships we've played in a while, so not too much rage. I raged a little bit earlier when we fought four Zoltan shield ships in Sector 1. But we were strong enough to not die. Alright, so we do not one-shot 
three shields with these ions. Now I know. We need another ion mini beam to do that. But it does look like the ion mini beams do self stack, though. Extra layers and the artillery do need power, and you did not did no changes to the reactor yet. Okay. How many jumps do we have? At least four. Yeah, I doubt we get five. Sometimes the salt mines are empty on Wednesdays. This is true, sometimes. They must have open tail bypass for their borders and their free hacking. Otherwise, how could they cheat like this and board me for free? Oh God, it's even freaking slugs, man. Uh, okay, uh, you know what? This guy is actually pretty terrifying. Three shields, two burst laser twos. I would probably die on hard mode no pause against this ship. This ship is busted. This ship is actually busted. I don't need my control. What am I doing? Okay. Why did I hack that? Well, why did I hack that? I'm gonna have to wait for ion mini beams to go twice before I can do any damage to this guy. Okay, it's fine. We have nine Zoltan shields. It's fine. Oh yes, I have a hacked heal bay. That's right. There we go. Beautiful. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Ooh, that would have been a scary fight if we weren't, you know, brokenly overpowered <laughs> with nine Zoltan shields. Usually the salt mines are closed on Mondays. Although when I play SMPK Insurrection, sometimes the salt mines open. Because that mod can get pretty tricky. Some pretty strong weapons or enemies. Do I ever dive for, like, a store there or there? Um... As powerful as I am... I don't think I need to dive. With SMPK, the salt mines go on overtime, huh? Would you like payment? No thanks. Thanks for asking, though. Um, okay. Yeah, so these double ion mini, mini beams actually do not one shot three shields. So they only get through two shields. So against the boss, we are still going to have to hack shields, it sounds like. Hello, Glaive. Yeah. No surrender. Because you're dead. I have double eye on a mini beams. Glaive, eat your heart out. Goodbye, Glaive. <laughs> Hello, Glaive. Goodbye, Glaive. <laughs> well, there we go. I could dive for the store. You know what? It's a nebula dive. I'm going for it. If we get cloaking, our, our ship's basically done. Although I was talking about getting artillery, wasn't I? Damn, they have systems and I can't even get it. Interesting. Ion Blast Mark II. Hmm. Now nah, we're going to continue the Slice and Dice theme. I uh, will get Clone Bay for giant alien spiders and such. And we get level 2 hacking. Power. Uh, we are diving, so an extra dodge would not go amiss. Let's go with that. Oh my gosh, another store. I'm not double diving for 
another store. Clone Bay is best bay. Got to run, Ramses. Have fun with my OP ship. You'll catch me again soon. All right. We'll see you later, Ramses. Have a great, great rest of your day, my friend. And I will have fun with my OP ship. I will. You can't stop me. Interesting. Seemed like hacking actually slightly hurt the mini beam thing, because maybe the shot. Uh, I don't know. God. <laughs> beams are crazy. These beams are crazy, man. Crazy. Um, hmm. I normally skip Zeldon sectors. We do have full crew and already have Zeldon shield, so. Is it a hidden Zeldon Shield? If I got Zeldon Shield, would that give me extra Zeldon Shields? It doesn't stack, does it? I'm pretty sure it wouldn't stack. Recently discovered your teenage love. Rediscovered your teenage love of Lego. These modern Star Wars sets are crazy well done. Nice. That's pretty cool. Iron damage being applied to the already depleted by hacking shields. You're not sure if it stacks. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's just... For the lulls, test it. I doubt it will. But uh, we can check it out. We have mind control for the uh, Zoltan borders, so. That's pretty cool, uh, Dapper Rich. I actually, I never really got into Legos. My older brother did. But um, when I last visited my bro my little brother, um, that show uh, Lego Masters, he showed me that show, and I'm like, that I could definitely see that being a thing to get into, get back into Lego building. Never give up, never surrender. Unless it's a really good deal, but that was a good deal. You spent 800 bucks just in the past month on Lego. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. Lego Masters, I was, as we were watching, it's like, wow, this is a cool show, but it's also just a crazy big commercial for Legos. <laughs> so that's cool, I guess. Everything to sell? Not really, so I need a little bit more to get cloaking. It's cathartic after work? Nice. If I ever want to get off of my video game addiction, I probably should maybe try something like that. Although that's really expensive. <laughs> it's probably a more expensive um, hobby than my gaming hobby addiction. Uh, you have your own mind control, eh? Let's just hit the weapons. We just need these weapons to be offline. Oh, we're taking damage here, aren't we? Oh, no! We actually Dumbledoge! Way to, way to go, Dumbledoge, protecting me all the live long day. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, nice. We can get cloaking if it's available in the store. Ionized beams can also stun. Wow. Wow because they weren't strong enough. In case they weren't strong enough, they can also stun. Just look at it as an investment for future little rands. Yeah, I'm not sure if future little rands are happening ever or anytime soon. For sure, anyway. I'm not sure about that being a thing. At least not with current Rand at the helm. Maybe future Rand. There's artillery. If I want to go full beams, I'll love it. Um. Well, we'll see. We'll we'll see what our options are. We will see what our options are. We can do go either way. Okay. 
Hmm. This is a beam artillery. So I don't have any missile defense except for the, uh, you know, nine Zoltan shield we start with. All right, let's do it as intended. Artillery. Um, I forgot that I need to be looking for empty jumps for Zoltan shield uh, quest potential. Let's get fuel. Do I get pike beam to replace the mini beam? I honestly kind of just want to invest in this ionized artillery beam, so I think I'm going to do that. Ooh, exact scrap to get that to level three. Let's do it. Yeah, that's a future brewer. Uh, the future Rand can worry about future little Rand. <laughs> Current ran. Doesn't have time for pets or kids. All right, hear him out. Please don't be in the jump right to the right that wastes two jumps. Perfect. Uh, damn, I wish I could go through one more nebula, but six, five, four, three, two, one. Cool. Although I will be honest, I've lately been trying to think about, like, maybe investing some money in another hobby just to get me out of the house more, like, getting into, like, scuba diving or something. But I just... You know, we nerds like to stay in our nerd holes, our nerd caves, but, uh... You know, I, I probably eventually need to get out of my hole a little bit. So, investing in a hobby like, not Lego, because that would just be more stuff to do in my little hole here. <laughs> but maybe, I, I kind of just want to get out of the house a little more eventually at some point. Buying and upgrading an artillery system? Who are we even watching right now? Not even real Rand though, not real Rand. Wow, yeah, so that's a, uh, that is an ion artillery. That is an ion artillery. Next thing you'll be replacing all your NG with smelly humans. Now, give me a little credit. Give me a little credit. Go into metal detecting, find some treasure. <laughs> is anybody who's ever bought one of those ever actually found treasure? I don't live near the sea where pirates would have buried it, so I don't know if that would be a very successful endeavor for me. But it sounds like fun. I did get into, um, back when I lived with my ex and she liked to go to Colorado because, you know, you can buy stuff there you couldn't buy in Texas. Um, what I would like to do when we went out there is pan for gold. So I have some gold panning equipment. Maybe I can have a trip where I go to some place in Texas where I can pan for gold or something. Uh, you make artillery be artillery usable. That's the that's the difference. It's true. This is a way better artillery than normal artillery. All right, we're gonna need to get third shield soon since I didn't actually get cloaking. We all have to push our comfort zone a bit. Pick up a martial art. That would be super fun and useful. I've actually taken some lessons in um, kickboxing and I think one other thing. And it was pretty fun, but I know when I found out how much it costs to take your belt test, I was like, oh God, that's expensive. So I don't know if I want to spend the, the amount of money it would take to really get serious into that it is something good and active to do though so it's not a bad idea but I think I'd prefer something like I don't know, like playing volleyball or scuba diving is the one I've thought of the most because I did that for the first time years ago 
in um, Mexico and had a lot of fun with that, so... I was thinking of taking, like, scuba diving lessons or something. That could be fun. Probably expensive, too. But most hobbies that you want to get into are pretty expensive. Uh, be a visiting friend to the local geriatric center. It's a win-win. I don't... I don't feel like I get enough fulfillment out of making other like talking and visiting with other people now if i went there to like sing and stuff maybe but then it's hard for me to justify oh crap i'm diving aren't i going and seeing some singing somewhere when i usually do that for money but i guess i could do it as a volunteer thing but i don't know that doesn't sound like the thing for me first relation for deals about war progress only be bloodshed and Zoltan shield and it breaks it down. Okay, at least it wasn't completely worthless Dancing yeah, actually dancing could be fun like a dancing class It's funny as a lot of these suggestions are things that I would want to do if I had somebody to do them with But it'd be a way to meet people and get actually out and do a little socializing too, so I've been thinking about maybe doing something like that finding the time would be the other challenge but uh, these are all, these are some good suggestions about things I could do to get out and do some stuff. Well, you got sliced and diced. So the artillery is this pike beam out in the front. I'll be honest, it's hard for me to, like, seriously consider any of these things. Because anytime I think about doing them, I was like, uh, or I could just stay home and play video games. <laughs> that's, that's really the issue. Like, I could do that, or I could stay home and play more video games. And that's usually what I end up doing. But maybe eventually, I will get... Maybe when I'm done being addicted to Elden Ring, I'll be like, hmm, bored of this, guess I'll go... take salsa dancing lessons or something. Stealth B is calling me. Well, what is it calling me? It's calling me names, or what? You know what I don't have is cloaking for this. Let's do the good hit here and there. It hits all of them. Um, okay. Hey. Do I take the, uh, damage in trade for the one fuel and score farming? Nah. Hey, Rebel Struggle. Chase me, chase me. That's what stealth be is. What? I don't understand. Girls go crazy over a man who can dance. <laughs> Or I could just stay home and play video games till I die. Same, flirting. Yeah, you feel me? You feel me? <laughs> yeah. I mean, us people on Twitch probably a lot have that in common, right? Just stay home and watch others play video games till I die. That too. <laughs> that, that too. And actually, I like dancing. I haven't done a lot of it, but I've done some stage dancing. Um, I've done some shows where I've done some like waltzing and uh, the most fun dancing thing I've done is swing dancing. I, uh, in junior college, had some friends who that's what they did for fun. They went and went, went out and went swing dancing. The guy even got like the zoot suit and the, like the chains and the hat and all that kind of stuff. And I and I learned a little bit of swing dancing. And then I had a cousin who, for their wedding reception, wedding reception, gave swing dancing lens lessons, and then did some swing dancing. So that would be fun. That could be a fun thing to do. Again, it's hard to like go out and dance if you don't have a partner to do it with. But you know, if you like sign up for a class, you probably get partners that you 
get partnered up with people. I don't know, can you sign up for a dancing class solo? That's probably a thing people do. How do you monetize having people watch me watching Rand play video games? <laughs> That's truly meta. Monetize you. I mean, you could do YouTube reacts videos of watching my YouTube videos. That's what all the famous people do. Asmund Gold is apparently a big popular YouTuber. And I keep seeing all these pop up. Asmund Gold reacts to World of Warcraft. Blah, 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 blah. It's just... Problem is... In order to do that, you have to get you have to be famous first for people to watch you. That endless loop of you got to be famous to get famous, right? The rich get richer, the famous get famouser. Wow, that was this this is a uh, artillery beam is doing work. You totally can do that. Where I live, we go to Shag Dance Nights on Thursday. What is Shag Dance? $5 cover and a free lesson. Wow, that's cheap. That's really cheap. Okay, Rebel Stronghold. So I know it's going to be here, here. Okay, there's a lot of choices, actually. Ballroom lessons are pricier. Compared to, what did you say? Shag? What is shag dancing? That sounds like Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. It's like beach dancing in the south. I have no idea what that is, so I'll be honest. That, that tells me nothing. That tells me nothing. Beach dancing. Ooh, that's a good deal. If I get a store. Are we in Sector 7? I don't think we are. Sector 6, okay. I know, that one store. The one store. Thanks, game. Thanks. Good thing I'm not, like, in desperate need of a store. Right now, we are just here consuming auction and having a good time. Live in the moment. That's right. You know, I'm having a good time hanging out with everybody right here. Just when I'm not streaming, I'm trying to talk about the fun things I could do. That's not sitting around playing more video games after sitting around streaming playing video games all day. Okay. Actually, this is a five hit. That. How was it saying the rich have the money to spend on keeping their money? I don't know if that's the saying, but you know, something like that. The rich get richer is the one that I've heard all the time. This, this. This, this. There we go. Could get the maxed artillery. Let's, uh... Let's just do it. Who cares about weapon upgrades? We have, a uh, Level 4 ion artillery that's broken. Keep saying broken. But it's broken as in a good thing brokenly strong. There it is. Look around. Okay. This. This. And hack this. Hey, what's up, Knockerner? How you doing? Okay. Oh, I don't even need to hack it, man. Just get freaking one shot. Wow, this artillery is, is pretty crazy. That guy didn't get a single shot off. Perfectly balanced ship. Totally not overpowered, this slice and dice ship. Whole smasher laser. Now we just need a store. Um, where do I want to go? How do I want to do this? That is a, an asteroid field. That's a pulsar. You can get a lot of jumps here. How's everyone's weekend? Singing gigs all go well? Um, it was five hours of singing yesterday. So it was good, but exhausting. I sang the Hallelujah Chorus three times. I sang... Um, 
basically everything I sang, I sang three times because it was, you know, three services. Um, Dan forced choral, choral music three times, which is really taxing. And Christ the Lord is risen today, six verses, three times. So I sang 12 verses of that hymn. So I'm good, but a little, a little verklempt in the throat area. But I'm doing well. Enjoying Easter with your mom, eggs, and all the fun, and remembering Jesus from the grave, work tomorrow, nothing lasts forever. There you go. Okay, great. Glad you're having a good time. I'll be honest, after after all my singing in the morning, I came home and crashed for a while. That's why I didn't stream yesterday. I was just like, I can't, can't anymore. Just can't anymore. Hey, this guy got through our Zelda shield. That's one of the first first people to do that. Congratulations, Auto Assault Ship. Uh, it just takes a beam drone and some crazy ions, and you can actually get through our nine Zoltan shields. Am I the Beam Master? Yes. We're the good Beam Master. The Beam Master who's not a joke. <laughs> Because our beams are ion mini beams, ionized mini be mini beams. We're what the uh, beam master would be if he was actually scary, or if she was actually scary. They were actually scary. The real Beam Master. What, you want to deactivate my beams? This is not allowed. Beam deactivation detected. Oh my gosh, look at that. Just ion ioning all of the systems with that artillery. That is so crazy. Why am I maximizing my beams? We don't need to maximize. That is <laughs> pretty crazy. I would love to actually get four ion mini beams for the memes. Memes for the beams. Beams for the memes. I would like to make that happen, but... We only have one sector. We need like an NG sector with a bunch of stores for us to have any chance at that. No, this is not SMPK. This is um, a new mod from Mr. Porku called Zoltan Shielded Zoltan Cruisers. Like, kind of upgraded Zoltan ships. And there's three of them in this pack. And uh, this was the C version, the slice and dice or something. Hey, a human, welcome aboard, human. Thanks for venting yourself on the way out. See you later, enjoy your venting. Happy venting to you, human. Wow, I know that that's literally nothing, so I'm not even gonna spend the fuel to go there. I could go here and back. Eh, okay. This cost me fuel. It's empty. All right. Not a great end to this sector. NG? Okay, civilian would be second best for potential store to find two ionized mini, bo mini beams. I doubt that's very likely to happen, but I'll give myself the best chance. Finding it. Check here for stores here, then here and here. Yeah. Yeah. We're just looking for stores or ionized mini beams to go the full beaming. We want to be the ion beam master. Most feared existence in all of the cosmos of FTL. So now that we have the Artillery going, it looks like ionized mini beam plus the ion artillery is enough to one shot four shield chips. Gay music just awesome. Oh man, FTL's music. We were talking about that earlier today. Just one of a kind and amazing in so many ways. 
That's one of the things you were disappointed about with Trigon, the music. Man, I feel like if you're gonna make a game inspired by a game that's as kind of as universally renowned as FTL is, you are you are climbing up a hill with with a monkey on your back. I don't know what that means, but you're setting kind of a an impossible goal to be able to stand up to those standards, you know? Like, how can you ever compete? It's like trying to make an MMO after World of Warcraft. Are you ever going to make one that's half as successful? Uh, seems like, seems tough. Stream is a joy because the conversation range is so interesting. Oh, nice. Thanks. <laughs> Our chat's pretty awesome to come up with fun stuff to talk about. I will agree. You're climbing a hill the size of Everest. That's true. That's true. I wonder if FTL is considered the most successful um, indie game ever. I wonder I wonder who holds the crown. Who do you all think has the crown for most successful indie game of all time? Maybe Minecraft, actually. That was an indie game when it came out, right? Made by one person. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the only place I couldn't see a store. So FTL probably isn't anywhere close, honestly, compared to Minecraft or PUBG. Even though in our community it's like considered amazing, compared to other games, it's probably not considered as that successful. Google says it's Minecraft, yeah. Come on, page two, ionized mini beam. Damn. All right, we'll get a pike beam to replace our mini beam, though. Okay. Still have a chance over here at the store for maybe one other one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't even have to die for it. Nice. FTL is definitely at the top. Is Minecraft really indie at this point? No, but it started indie. And if you're going to be a successful indie game, it means you probably get out of the indie genre after being successful. You know, that whole successful part kind of is the opposite of what India is, right? India is small times or something. Uh, hey, Pickle Cannon, thanks for the follow on the Prime sub. Appreciate that, my friend. I mean, can you be successful and indie? That's like oxymorons right there, right? It's like being poor and rich at the same time. A successful poor person. How do you how do you how do you do that? I am successful at being poor. You have fond memories of Ultima Online, then you did go to EverQuest 2. Never enjoy never joined WoW, but you did enjoy Eve Online. Perhaps you need to revive your character. I tried Eve. I played the Okay, page two, page two. Damn. I played the um like intro and I just didn't like the combat of that game but I was definitely in EverQuest 1 that was the first MMO I played and then I got into WoW WoW and then after WoW I played other ones like Rift and a little Guild Wars 2 and a little of always I like sampled MMOs after WoW but WoW was definitely like most people the one that I spent by far the most time in your father just called you because he needs an app to watch some football for free. What did you miss? <laughs> uh, we're talking about MMOs and stuff. That's what we missed. Wow, the Burning Crusade was like crack. No MMOs for you ever again. Yeah. I mean, wow, Burning Crusade was when I was trying to finish my master's degree in college. And it's probably the main reason it took me a semester or two extra to finish. So, I definitely understand you there. Definitely understand. And I'm in the same boat. 
but I kind of want to have something that I can get into again, but maybe just not go all the way down the, you know, rabbit hole of no lifing. Hey, we actually get one more store chance. And Lord of Pies, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. You and Pie Boy should hang out. <laughs> this is the third ion weapon we've seen. When we see the ionic basic laser, ionic dual laser, and I guess the ionic mini beam. We've seen a couple of your upgraded weapons, but not. We didn't get another mini beam, sadly. All right, guess we'll just go uh, fourth shield and weapon value. I have no sub subsystem upgrades. Let's get the useful ones, which is all of them. Uh, price of a WoW subscription is $15 a month plus tuition. <laughs> That's right. Uh, came in to give a follow. I helped you get your first run completed after 100 hours of trying. Well, grats. I, I, I always like to say your first win in FTL is like, that is like a gaming accomplishment. There are two game. There are two types of gamers in the world: those who have got to win an FTL, and those who never have. And you are now part of the haves, which is I don't know what a percentage of gaming community is, but it's probably a pretty low percentage. Uh, that's some real talk right there. Real talk. Real, real gamer talk right there. Who needs cloaking when we have nine Zeldin shields? Who needs it? Heard a lot of dung against WoW, but it's not a player of it. You heard it. It's, it's hard to determine. Well, modern WoW is pretty... I have returned and played once or twice. Modern WoW is kind of crap, I would say. I, I actually watch a YouTube channel that talks about modern day MMOs because it's like talking about what's the next good one that could be and how it compares to the golden age of MMOs. A lot of people talk about the golden age of MMOs being vanilla, World of Warcraft, Burning Crusade, and maybe Wrath of the Lich King. But, you know, that's very subjective, of course. Um... But that's, pr that's probably when WoW... It's probably also a little bit objective because it's probably the time when WoW had the... What did it get up to? Like 12 million subscribers at one point? And that was probably during Wrath of Lich King, maybe. I can't remember. Hey, a free eye on a basic laser. Ah, another store. Okay, there's one more chance at this thing. So, but modern day WoW, like, it doesn't have nearly a subscriber base and it's got a lot of mechanics that are just kind of not that... It, it's it's pandering to it, it doesn't actually encourage long-term play it's trying to get short-term players to get more people back into it but it doesn't have long-term kind of stuff that was going on back in the back in ye olden days um get a battery charger why not what else am i going to spend my scrap on fully upgrading my ship who even does that anymore Uh, Federation Victory Easy Achievement has 19.4 complete rate on Steam. What does that mean? The amount of people who own FTL and have gotten the easy difficulty achievement? Is that what that means? I don't know how that works. Hey, what's up, Pro Rebel? Not sure what achievement completion rate on Steam. Is that number of people who are on Steam or only number of people on Steam that own the game? Steam achievements for FTL are relatively new, though. It's achieved slash owned, you think? Okay. Well, like, I don't know if I'm considered as having that achievement since... I don't know if I've beat an easy mode run since they added achievements to FTL, since I only play on normal and hard, but maybe. I don't know. As Pro Rebel says... Achievements were added after this game. 
uh, had been on Steam for a long, long time. So yeah, I don't know how, how accurate that is, an assessment of how many people have played and beat it. It specifically says Rand has all these, Kappa. <laughs> Does it? Okay, great. Uh, I, I could sell my long range scanners. Selling long range scanners and buying battery charger. Who am I and what have I done with the Rand? Not even real Rand. People who own the game goes into that stat only. So only 19% of people who own the game have beat it on easy difficulty, it says. There are probably people who have watched a lot of FTL then played and never beat it on easy because they started on normal, though. So again, I don't know. I don't know if that's a completely useful stat or not. There are... I mean... I can almost guarantee there's somebody who's played FTL and only ever beat it on a difficulty higher than normal, right? Oh man, just enough Sultan Shield to not take damage from the missile. Nice. Uh, you got the easy one for being on a normal, so you get both. Okay, well then, never mind. Don't listen to me, I don't know what I'm talking about. I know nothing about Steam achievements, Steam achievements I guess. You have all the FTL achievements? I wonder if I have. I've never really gone achievement hunting after getting the in-game ones the first time I played through FTL for the first time. First time for the first time. You also have FTL, but you watch better people than you play it, like Dark and Dungeon, Dark's Dungeon, let the chefs serve the food. <laughs> That's a good way to say it. Okay. Let the chefs serve the food. So I'm your FTL chef, eh? Today I have a wonderful gourmet of salted missiles into your weapons room. I shall be serving you some beautiful Devil beam drones on your stealth B run. Enjoy. Wow, this is the worst restaurant I've ever been to. <laughs> I don't want to eat here ever again. This is horrible. Zero stars. Would not recommend to a friend. You have a ton of achievements you got. All unlocked. August 9th, 2020 at 12.58 p.m. Oh, is that what it, when it added them? The Swedish chef. That was my bad French accent, not Swedish. <laughs> The Swedish chef would be hurdy gurdy hurdy 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 hurdy. That's the Swedish chef. That's what he sounds like. Okay, value point there. This power. Uh, this. Okay. Borka borka dirka furka. <laughs> Suddenly free Pegasus. Sadly, we are a slice and dice beamer, so. Not to be confused with a slurs and durst boomer. I'm not a boomer, I'm a beamer. Uh, it took you years before you were able to beat FTL on anything except easy. You went straight to hard mode after I taught you some strats, though. Nice. FTL is the only game you have 100% Steam achievements. Nice, nice. You know what? Let's hack his cloaking. I never do it. Let's hack cloaking. Let's do it. Make sure our ion beams... Our ion memes are keeping his... Uh, Shields down. Oh, don't hack my weapons though. Shield hack? Okay, that's fine. Go. I never do whole beam strats, but there we go. And then pike beam. That's pretty good. Not a one-shot, but it's close. <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like battery chargers, so I got a battery charger so you can put inside your battery charger so you never run a battery for your battery charger. Thank you. This sounds like Pink, Pink Panther. <laughs> uh, what, the herdy gurdy murdy Um. Uh, surely, surely you know the Swedish chef from from the Muppets. Beep, 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 beep. Any situation where hacking doors is anything but a flex. There's probably a crew O2 kill or fire kill that involves hacking the doors, but I don't know what that's. That sounds like a very particular situation. I can't think of any quests or anything where I would feel like I need to do that. Um, what do I want to hack here? 
Let's just act the shields. This track always reminds me of Subnautica music, is why I love it. That, that beep, 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 beep sound sounds just like a, something from Subnautica. Bum, 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 bum. Well, probably shouldn't hack shields. Doesn't look like I needed that. <laughs> All right, well, I didn't get through my Zoltan shield before he was dead. We're a little strong. You can't think of any reason to ever hack doors? Well, Britnoff says it, then... Uh, does sound like it's only a flex or a meme. Um, you know the chef, but you said something before that it seemed like the, an inspector from the Pink Panther. Oh, when I was doing my bat, that was me pretending to be a snooty French um, chef, which I'm sure no snooty French chefs actually sound like that. Doing a bad French accent for fun. Uh, didn't Ben Prunty also make music for Subnautica? Actually, I think you're right. Maybe that's why I think it sounds like that. That is probably exactly correct. Probably exactly precisely right. Uh, okay, do that. Probably exactly. Alright, three empty rooms there. You've never seen a, fla a flagship being washed over the floor like this? Well, hang out on Mondays when we play viewerships. You'll see it more often. <laughs> it happens a lot on this day. We play a lot of brokenly overpowered ships. I'm not even going to use my control as a defensive thing. This guy's just... The beamening. Uh, does he not even get through my Zoltan shield? He doesn't even get through my Zoltan shield. Shield Zoltan cruiser victory. GG cookie time. A crazy slicer ship that is stupidly brokenly strong for Mr. Porku. This mod is called the Shielded Zoltan Cruisers. It's on the box or on uh, Mr. Porku probably has a link for it on the subset forms as well. Jim Henson, yeah. Fire a cultural movement for kids. What's that? I'm talking about Muppets? Pro tip, beam aiming doesn't matter when hitting Zoltan shields. Okay. Well, I will say, I wasn't aiming those beams for the Zoltan shields. I was aiming them for when they were auto-fired after the beams were down, but good tip. There's a link, Mr. Porker just linked. Check that score, 65-71. All right, we did, we did a little score farming there. Most ships defeated, most beacons explored, nice. And most jumps survived. Hmm. So how does this work? He survived two more jumps than beacons explored. Does jump survive count starting beacon and final beacon, but that doesn't count as beacons explored? It's kind of interesting. I've never seen this this number and analyze it before. So I guess maybe the starting beacon does not count and the ending beacon maybe doesn't? Oh, uh, that's for visiting a beacon twice. Ah, uh, okay, so I probably I probably backtracked twice. That answers that question. Okay. Where are we going? Yeah, yeah, my bad. I'm a noob, I should know. Okay, cool. That was a fun ship. We have time for one or two more ships. Um, I'm going to make a note that we've played the C version of the Zoltan Cruiser, so we have the B and A versions to do. But we're going to play an SMPK ship from uh, Slow Rider x Core next, which has been updated. But before we do that, I'm going to stand up stretch and take a break. Thank you all for watching. Hope you're enjoying. Always fun to hang out and chat with you awesome people while playing FTL and not getting destroyed. That'll probably be in the next run, though. So I'll see you all in just a bit. Uh, Y'all are awesome. <laughs>